Hi everyone, so I've just come to share with you today um, some things I made to put into the journal that I'm working on now. So I decided to go through the big scrap boxes that I have, there's loads of them, um, just bits and bobs that are left over from other um, journal kits that I've printed off and, and obviously haven't used. Um, and I had watched a couple of videos um, very early today um from a few ladies uh one was tina shabby dabby doo -da. the other one was a lady called oh i don't know her name but <clears throat> her youtube channel is called pink monarch prints and they were just showing um like embellishments and things to do to pop in your journals and i wasn't really like in a mood to do anything specific so i just thought this would be a good thing to do just like, have a play around and see what i can come up with so i know you've all got loads of bits left over and scraps from all sorts of stuff so <clears throat> i put my signature together and again this is going to be quite an eclectic one um, oh i'd also watched a video um by carol tinson and she was showing like, how to make paper bags um with lots of other things that you probably have in your stash and um i made a couple of these these are from like tissue paper so <clears throat> um i done them too as well but they're in the journal so as you can see in front of you there's a collection of things there's tags and journal cards and little scrapbooky things and um coin envelopes pockets that i've made and um uh pockets and tucks that i've made as well so i'm gonna go through this first um just had some uh construction cards left over so um made this I think this was actually made. This was in the little pile of stuff that I'd actually made. But this um, can hold a tag there, which again, using my scraps, I just made this little tag. Again, that is from uh, the tag fabrication. So we've got a journal card there. This little tag, <clears throat> just putting bits together. This is a, a double layered tag. Um, this was from, an, I don't know what kit it was now, I can't remember. Um, and then this is one of the construction cards. Just This was a tiny piece of snippet that I had left from a paper snippet. I did do a video on that. So I just popped that tiny bit on there. And again, that's just a little embellishment on there. Um, <clears throat> another construction, no, not construction, some uh, tag fabrication. I've put some... Uh, ledger paper and just bits and bobs. I have to back this one because I'd obviously printed that out on a thinner paper So I'll probably back that and just added this lady just a couple of layers of things um, Another construction card and this actually is opened as well. Let me see <clears throat> It's opened at the top There just very simple the two construction cards a butterfly and some bling and you can use that as a little insert into your journals <clears throat> uh this tag just messing around really keen on it but i had got uh I'd received the tim holtz um floral dies today it wasn't due them till sunday but they arrived today so i got them so i've literally cut out loads and loads of their, them uh some of them i had done uh just plain and others i had been messing around with paints yesterday so all the scrap pieces of paint went onto a bit of cardstock and i just ran them dies through on that so that was that tag this one here again just bits and bobs left in the in the scrap boxes that again is one of the tim holtz um dies and i just chopped that up that was not the size of it it's actually much bigger then, I'd, when I was watching Tina this morning, <clears throat> um, she was just putting together little scrapbooks and things like that. So I'd done these. And what I think I will do with them is actually add some lace to the tops of them because I don't want to see the staples. So there's that one. And then there's just that one. Great way to keep all them little bits of papers and um, scrap pieces like the ends like I have loads of ends of papers <laughs> because um, I normally chop down pages to make um, my traveller's notebook size journals so there's that one and that one this, these are just be like maybe fun little things that you can do I know you've probably seen them all over the place but <clears throat> I just thought for a change I'd show you what I've um, done 
so that's that one. Uh, these are really good because I've seen a lot of people use these and you can either tear them off or just write on the backs of them or glue things onto them and just make them like fun little mini booklet things. This one's rather large. So that's that little pile. <clears throat> then I made some pockets. Now these are really quick and easy and simple to make because they're just coffee dyed cardstock and I used the Martha Stewart punch which is called I think it's the floral vine something <laughs> I keep forgetting what it's called I've actually had this for about four years now and I still can't remember and everybody tells me every time I mention that I don't know its name they tell me and I forget um, I do think they should put the names of them on the back it kind of would help but there you go I know it's discontinued some people have asked me recently um, you know where to get it but um, I actually done a swap for this uh, I think um, the lady sent me this and I made her a, a journal so because these um, I don't know how much they were originally I would probably say maybe 25 30 pounds that's in the UK but I'm hearing people are paying like 50 60 dollars for them so it's because they're discontinued everybody wants one so they'll pay, you'll pay for it when you can't when you can't get it so anyway that's what I used for these but here um, this is what I'd seen well something similar that I'd seen um, the lady um, pink monarch prince so sorry I don't know your name um, but I do I do sub to her on YouTube so she had made ones but she had like punched the edge but I already had these um, these shapes cut out and I knew if I'd punched them I was going to lose quite a bit of them and I wanted to use these which are from Artie Mays um, and then I'd, I'd picked some really nice script paper and then I covered them over. I don't know why I'd done that, but there you go. Some music paper under there and then there's just some of this brown, like, doily edge trim. So there's two of them. Done some stenciling on there. Then I made two of these, which will just be pockets. Like, they will go, like, on the journal like that. And then you can slip things in there. So I've done two of them. Um, the butterflies are just like cardstock. There's some two layers of lovely lace on here, so they're cute. And then two side ones, and I just made um, I put some lace on them as well. And then I made from scraps of um, coffee dyed cardstock again, little pieces about this length. I just chopped it up, stamped it, inked it, and made it into like a full stamp or like a little label type thing. <clears throat> and what I do have to do with them still is add the bling to the butterflies. So I will do that now. And hopefully tomorrow I will be able to um, get this slot into a journal. Um, I had to go for a snooze today. I had a headache um, and I had to sleep it off. I think it's just... Um, the weather I think it's just the weather it's been raining a lot and the heating's on and I think it just gets to you gets to your head so then there's them then I made these were just out of I'm going to possibly because I don't know whether I'm going to put them in as pockets or not um like you know glue two sides down and put them in so that I've got a tuck I haven't done anything to the back but if um if I don't and use them as a floating pocket then I will put some coffee dyed lined paper on there so that you've got some extra journaling and then inside there you can add a tag or two these images are from Artie Mays so is the words and so is the butterflies so I made two of them and uh, obviously the the image I just kind of gave it a little bit each side used my scoreboard um, and made them too then these are the little, again, um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to glue them in as permanent pockets or floating pockets. And again, if they're floating, I will put some lined paper on the back. The reason I haven't done it is because I don't want to waste the paper because <laughs> the coffee dyeing process is long. <laughs> um, uh, especially like in the winter as well. It's like you can't get it all dried outside and 
you know you don't want the oven on forever so again i've just used some scrap papers there's some ledger there the little butterflies and the words and everything i think are from, all from artie mays and so it's a little girl uh little girls on both of them the words might be from one of the tag uh tag fabrication or the construction cards i'm not 100 percent sure i know it's one or the other so there's them and then these two um I don't know, I, I'm not really keen on these now, but I will use them. I could fancy them up a little bit, um, add some lace and, but you know, there's still pockets that you can add tags to. Um, so yeah, that was them. So that's all the little things that I made today. And I'm gonna show you just one of my little, because they're all too big really. I'm gonna show you a little um, tray that um, I've been using for all my small embellishments because I got the other day, <laughs> you'll laugh at this, um, I, <clears throat> this is a food plastic tub and there was four breasts of chicken covered in like, um, like southern fried batter or something like that. So I thought, oh, I'll keep that because I can put all my little things in and then just kind of file through it. So <laughs> that's what I sat and done. I have still literally got tons and tons of stuff um to cut up and sort out um that would be like a whole weekend thing i should maybe go take it all in, in indoors and sit and do it and get everyone to help me do it but these you know tubs like this so handy to keep um because i'm fed up buying you know fancy tubs and and then i just fill them and fill them and fill them and they just end up getting put on a shelf and i don't see them because everything's to the back of me um so these little things are handy and you can have them on your desk right next to you ready to have a little play along um so yeah i just wanted to show that this little lot to you um maybe give you some ideas maybe you've done it all before and you just think what are you showing this for but i just thought i'd show you um like the things that i've done today um like i said it's not a lot i haven't done a lot but um hopefully tomorrow is a little bit more of a better day um i do feel better now after having a nice snooze but there you go um so if you have any questions then just ask and i hope you're having a good evening and i'll speak to you all soon bye